All right, let's talk about Finn Duality, Echo of Ada, the closed beta that's been going on this whole weekend. It's not over yet. I just wanted to share my initial thoughts as of right now. So let's get into it. What are you, what is this game about, and what do you have to do? Well, pretty much, uh, you have a mech. You have a mech. It is an AI character that you use to help you out in the world that you have to survey, take on these enders of these creatures in the world, and sometimes drifter hunters, or magus hunters, which is quite interesting. And I'm not going to BS you, the storyline kind of escapes me for the most part. Alright, so Sinduali Echo of Ada takes place in 2222. Wait, sorry. That's a weird sentence to have. Takes place in 2222, years after a mysterious poisonous rain called the Tears of the New Moon wiped out most of humanity and birthed deformed creatures that now hunt the population amidst the calamity, humans build an underground haven named Amasia, where they discover and begin to collaborate with forms of artificial intelligence called Magus. And the game players will step into the shoes of the Drifters, people who make a living collecting AO crystals, a rare resource available on Earth. In this quest, they must face xenomorphic creatures known as Enders, while counting on Magus, their AI partners, to guide them through their journey, help them in fights and provide directions, hints, and warnings. All the while, they will be okay. So I get it. World's going to shit. We got acid rain killing us, and now we must go underground and try to survive. Interesting concept, especially when you have this crazy mech to use with these AI characters that you also have to take care of and build these living spaces and stuff like that. Because I had an incident where I didn't eject from my mech; it blew up. So did my AI. And they finally came back all dismayed, riddled, <laughs> just messed up. And she keeps on bugging me, I, I could sure use a bath. And I'm like, yes, I get that. But trying to find anything in this world is freaking annoying half the time. Like, the, the minimal things that you have to find on your quest is easy, like pipes, uh, survey of area, and collect whatever it is and bring it back, take on this enemy, take on that enemy. But when you need stuff to build your compound, that's where things get quite annoying because I have to find brittle ore, uh, some type of fat, some, some type of cluster of thing. Like I found them early on, but now I'm just like, I'm kind of lost trying to find out more of these items where they're scattered around the world. Plus you also wanna like, I wanna say time limit because there's gonna be other players in the world as well collecting things as well. Sadly, there's no voice support in the game. So it'd be nice to actually click on a button and say, hey, what's up man, how you doing? want to team up or whatever because you can do teams it's pvp b e so yeah so far nobody has been a douchebag but if you are there will be a bounty on your head if you do kill other players so it's kind of it's kind of like you know the risk of being a you know a bad guy if you will in order to you know do because you, you can take other drifter stuff as well when you take them out so my stuff I, when i explored i'm assuming and all my goodies are scattered in somewhere, and that somebody can pick that up. And the combat is actually pretty cool. Intuitive, building up your mech and other stuff is kind of like, you gotta find in the world. And this is a live for service game, which is also a downer for me in a way, but if it's free to play, I'll be okay with that. Other than that, this game is, is a grind. It's definitely a grind. Studio Inc. worked on this game. Not bad. It's not bad. I gotta say, uh, now the thing that I talked to my cousin because he's playing on the Steam version, I'm playing on the Xbox version, and what did he thought so far? He he brought up the point of that the risk for the reward because yes, if you die in that world, I mean eject or whatever, you lose everything that you collect, even your mech, because that means you have to go out, either go into the in-game shop like the compound shop and rebuild your mech from there. Or you use a spare one that's not going to be as powerful as the one that you had. So it's a very cautious statement. And I kind of like that because I feel like a lot of gamers have been coddled for a long time. 
where even if you lose, you still come back with something. This game, if you lose, you lose everything. This this is the roguelike. You will lose everything if you're not careful. I mean, they do have a safe pocket, but other than that, yeah, you you going in there and you got a lot of resources. Either head back to the elevator to exit, or risk staying in there and failing because you also have a battery life on your mech as well. I have yet to see what happens when the battery reaches zero. I feel like taking in a, a different type of mech, like one of those um, spare mechs, and see what happens when the battery reaches zero. So far, when I build my mech right now, I have over 20 minutes of time in the world before I have to head back. And your, your AI does warn you a lot. And I also went into the world without my AI, and I was, yeah. I was like the screen was all frigidy. It's like how I figured that's how Master Chief feels without Cortana in the back of his helmet. So you won't get warnings. You don't know what's coming at you. It's a harder difficulty, and especially trying to find out where Ore is and everything like that. You have to go Dolo. You don't even have a map. You, I mean, you do have a map, but it's not going to really show you what you need to do. You need the AI to help you out. Kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Like I said, big risk. And I like that kind of danger because, yeah, either you learn from your mistake, just like I had with these bandits. I took out the main boss and the secondary bandit, but the third bandit took me out because I wasn't really paying attention to my health that well. And switching to the health <laughs> could be that's so annoying. It should be a better way of doing it. But, yeah, I made the mistake and I got taken out and boom, I lost everything that I had. All the rare ore that I picked up, my... Badass blue light machine gun. That light machine gun was freaking amazing. And I lost it. But I got that I got that off of another boss that I beat. That kind of sad. It makes me sad. <laughs> but so far, yeah. The game is alright. Will I pick it up? I don't know. It's like I, I gotta figure out it's a grind. It's definitely a grind. But I do like how they have like the risk and reward. So when it comes to that, you will have to go in prepared to either succeed or have a major loss. And I know that's when I heard a lot of people was said we have been foiled for years. When you play a game, even in any type of match, there is going to be a reward for you if you lose. But if you are playing Singularity, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear how you feel about the game so far. Have you teamed up with anybody? Have you gone with other drifters to do certain things? Has the experience been better? I want to hear your thoughts. Let's discuss that. Also, hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.